government authorized hundreds of secret research programs at hospitals and universities to determine the effect of fallout from potential nuclear warfare. The radiation experiments were conducted on unknowing human subjects. After news reports in the early 1990s exposed the testing, the Clinton administration responded, and on this day in 1994, the White House announced the formation of a working group to dig deeper into one of the darkest chapters of American involvement in the Cold War. The last thing the White House was expecting to deal with in 1994 is instead one of the first. The issue, secret radiation experiments on unsuspecting Americans during the Cold War. And the Clinton administration addressed it less than a week into the new year. Setting up a government-wide task force to determine the extent and impact of the clandestine use of U.S. citizens as human guinea pigs. The White House summoned representatives from five of the departments involved in old secret radiation tests on humans today. Present were officials from the Pentagon, which paid for much of the Cold War research, the Department of Energy, which oversaw many of the tests, the Department of Veterans Affairs and Health and Human Services, which performed some testing, plus NASA which paid for tests to determine the effects of radiation on humans in space. And while not part of the meeting, the Central Intelligence Agency tells CBS News it has also begun an internal survey of its files as a part of the review. We know that there are many programs in the government that are still highly classified. There are black budgets that uh, I think will have to be scoured. Markey's committee had in fact first disclosed the long secret radiation experiments in the late 1980s, but both the Reagan and Bush administrations had failed to respond. Today's meetings came even as calls continue to pour into government hotlines from relatives and worried ex-patients. Good morning, Department of Veterans Affairs. In addition to a Veterans Affairs hotline, which opened this morning, the Department of Energy reported it has now received over 10,000 calls in the past week, and at least 70% of them will require an investigative follow-up. The White House says it will consider compensating victims, but made no promises. If there were uh, injustices rendered, they need to look at compensation. The President certainly believes that. Um, but I think at this point, uh, I think the process needs to move forward with the fact-finding. While some in Congress are more interested in punishment. And what do you do to the government officials that intentionally misled them, rather than let them just hide behind government immunity? The members of the task force met on a weekly basis to try to uncover answers. But what they discovered only made matters worse. The Department of Energy said today <coughs> they uncovered new evidence of radiation experiments on humans. In addition to 31 tests previously reported affecting 700 people, the government says it now has evidence of another 48 experiments involving up to 1,200 more subjects, most of whom were not informed. As before, the experiments offered no medical benefits to the subjects and included pregnant women, children, and fetuses. As an example, researchers quoted papers from a 1953 University of Iowa experiment on aborted fetuses, which made it clear authorities knew at the time the public would not approve of their work. Uh, the gist of it is that you know, we've got to run these bodies through as fast as possible because this is an unsavory business. The truth is that in many instances, American citizens were more in danger from their own government than they ever would have been from the Soviet Union. The findings of the task force were alarming. The final report, released on October 3, 1995, showed there were dozens of programs starting in 1945 in which government scientists deliberately exposed Americans to high levels of radiation without their knowledge or consent. But the report, while acknowledging that wrongs were committed, did not identify any living individuals who could be charged with any crimes. 